This is, of course, the website of the library, which is bibalex.org. And by the way, it's printed on the back of your tickets, and it's also available on Google. You can have access to this website from everywhere in the world, even from your home computer, without any extra charge or membership. In the home page here, we can see a photo gallery of the library, some pictures from inside and outside. For example, now I'm going to show you this helicopter view of the library. It's showing the library is having the shape of the rising sun. The pool or the water surrounding it represents the Mediterranean, and the planetarium facing them represents the planet Earth rotating around the sun. And this is, of course, the Norwegian design that I told you about in the beginning of the book. Another picture is of the outer walls of the library. If you have seen Ammonia Cray in somewhere? Mm -hmm. Yeah. These are granite blocks from Aswan, Upper Egypt, and these are alphabetics from over 120 languages engraved on them. Not, of course, forming a specific sentence or word, just random sentences. And then back again to the home page. Here we have the Internet Archive link, the one that I told you about taking snapshots from web pages. And on the top here we have Project Then Digital Library, of course, showing us some of the projects that the library is working on on different pages of books. Now I'm going to highlight for you some of them. This is the first project here, it's called Description of Egypt on Scripts on the Egypt. It was written by about 150 scientists and scholars who accompanied Napoleon Bonaparte to Egypt in the year 1798. They almost examined every aspect of modern and ancient Egypt through 20 years, and this was the result. It consists of 20 volumes, 11 for the drawings and paintings, and 9 for the texts and writings. For example, we can open the volumes containing the pictures. They will appear like this. We can select any of them. Pictures will be displayed. We can select any picture, zoom it inside, and the resolution remains high. Just blow this note, of course, first. And this is the same picture here. These are two volumes of description of Egypt. But these are not the originals, they are only facsimile. The originals are in the Louvre Museum in Paris. Then we have here another project which is called the World Digital Library. It uh, uh, contains uh, materials from every single culture that ever existed in the whole world. As you can see, of course, it's divided according to the map of the world. Different places, of course. If you'd like to access any of them, you simply click on the items. They're going to appear like this. Also, on the other side, we have a search either by place, time, topic, a lot of things. And this project is also available in seven different languages. And uh, we also have a number of projects documenting the history of Egypt. Uh, Egypt, start, uh, starting from this one here, it's called the Memory of Modern Egypt. It documents the life in Egypt from the year 1800 till the year 1980 including, of course, all the rulers, the prime ministers, and all the most important events in that time. Adding to this one, we have also uh, two more projects documenting the history of uh, the biography of of Egypt's presidents. This is President Gamal Abdel Nasser, the second president of Egypt, and one of the greatest Arab leaders. Here we can see some of his speeches, a photo gallery, a lot of things, and now I'm going to show you a part of his funeral, which was the second largest funeral in the whole world and uh, it was held in Cairo in the year 1970. It's also said that more than 5 million people attended this year. Uh, have President Anwar Sadat, who was the third president of Egypt. But these three projects documenting the history of Egypt are still recent ones, so you may not find all of them already in different languages, but very soon, of course, they're going to be available. For example, from uh, uh, Anwar Sadat here, I'm going to show you a part of Camp David Peace Treaty, where, of course, President Jimmy Carter and President Sadat appears. Now reporting from Washington, right... Let us pledge to make the spirit of Camp David a new chapter in the history of our nations. Thank you, Mr. President.
finally this project about the Suez Canal. It's available in uh, Arabic, English and French. We can choose English from here. Then you'll find some documents, books, videos, maps and uh, also a photo gallery. For example, from the books, I'm going to show you this book about the inauguration of the Suez Canal. We can turn the pages just by clicking on the bottom of the page. And now I'm going to show you a picture from the event itself. And this is where Princess and Kings were seated. This was also Empress Eugenie of France at that time. And again, I'm going to show you how to deal with the website. First, of course, log on bibalex.org. Here we have the Internet Archive link. Then on the other side, a photo gallery. And on the top here, we have projects, then digital library. This is, of course, the list of all the projects that I explained and more, of course, on different pages. You can access any of them and read more about it. Okay. Do I have any questions? No. Okay. Now I'm going to take you downstairs to show you some exhibitions and museums, and you're free in the library. Okay. Thank you.